need a bath. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone that looks at this car is gonna need a bath. Tetanus shot, maybe. That is a lot. Of it lot is of... the chicken coop. It is indeed. <clears throat> so we got the car back to the house. Uh, uneventful. Yeah, for uh, the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Um, the tire finally broke loose for us, uh, coming off the trailer. Almost killed Andy, but um, but he's alive. That's him right there. He's alive. <laughs> he's alive. So now we're uh, power washing the car. Um, as you see here, got the power washer out. We're cleaning everything off on the outside. It's actually cleaning up okay. Got a cool patina going on, um, but we're gonna shop vac like miles of rats and we have an infestation to cure yeah this is this is bad stuff we gotta clean up all that crap literally crap um and uh we'll uh be back when it's done Trunk's all cleaned out. Took quite a bit of work. Looks like our inner fenders in the back have a little bit of rust where the trunk meets it and the body mount. And then our actual tail pan where the trunk closes has a little bit of rust there. Everyone in California is going to be like, that's a little bit of rust. Like, yeah, East Coast, that's a little bit. So jump in and just try and work that pedal back and forth. Sure. 
So look at this first, so you have an idea of what you're doing. This first lever, you're pushing on this thing, yep. which pushes on this. Uh -huh. This engages the starter gear, okay. and then that little peg that it hits, yeah. it's supposed to push it in, and that engages the power. Okay. It's not pushing in. Okay. So I'm hoping we can kind of hit on it. Most likely get the stick though. You're going to have to push it down, which means I'll have to pump up the battery. Okay. Should I put the key in? No. I've already disconnected all that. Okay. Like, the only thing power is going to is the starter. That was intentional, because all the wiring in this is a disaster. I'm so glad we cleaned the seat off yesterday. Yes. Still smells like old. I bet. Ready? So from there, it's got to push further. Oh, there we go. It's moving. All right, stop. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to grab the little pry bar and see if I can get it to come back and just keep, we're going to keep working together. Okay. Um, if I can find it. Try and work that back again. All right, so. Oh. All right, try it again. some sparks out of it sounds like the motor is slightly seized at the moment so we need to either find a way to get into the crankshaft and put a socket on it which that doesn't really look doable or easily or we need to see if we can get it in gear and try and pull it with the Jeep so let's do that you want to hook to it with the Jeep yeah we're not gonna push it so especially not if the motors seized up I don't think it's like super seized up, but the starter's probably not in its best shape. All right, well, my truck is right there. We just hooked to it. Either way. I'm just going to pull it backwards. Well, hook it forwards. to the back and hook it to the front. We'll just pull them back and forth. Yeah. That's funny. Either way, whatever. Let's do something. There's no way to get a pry bar on the front, I guess. Well, the socket on the front, I don't think we even have one. Okay. I'm not sure what size it is, but the video I watched, the guy said it's like inch and three quarters. Okay. The nut. It's freaking massive. I haven't seen it. But... Yeah, because we'd have to pull the radiator out. Well, maybe. Just to get to it. Okay. okay, so we got a new game plan here to try to break this motor loose. What we're going to do is we're going to hook it to the Jeep and then to the truck, and we're going to tow it up and down the driveway. Uh, while we do this, Andy is going to be inside and is going to be working the gears, trying to pop the clutch and try to get the, the friction of the tires on the road and the clutch itself to start the, get the motor to start to move. Um, I don't think we're going to get it to spin, but at the very least, we're just trying to get that fan to move just a little bit so it breaks loose just a tad, just enough to get some of that ATF and that Marvel mystery fluid that's been soaking on top of those cylinders for you know last day or so. Um, if that all goes well with that, we get it to move a little bit. That'll make it a lot easier when we go to pull the radiator and we go to um, put a breaker bar on the front and try to crank it by hand. Uh, so if we can get it to budge just a little bit, it'll make it a lot easier to do that. So wish us luck. Hopefully this does the trick.
Okay, that took longer than we planned, but it was a success. We were able to get the motor to start to spin a little bit. So uh, that tells us that uh, it wants to move. So the next step is pull the radiator, uh, get a breaker bar, put it on the crankshaft and just give it hell. So let's see what we can do. But guess what? It did! Witchcraft and wizardry. Don't leave them out. Look at this hose. It's like sponge. That's awesome. <clears throat> Probably just cut it. Pretty much. Stop and do bark. Cave bark tactical life. We're gonna cut this thing off, not kill somebody. Butter. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping for a little more solid. That one's loose, but. Almost out. What else is holding? It's not the hose holding it in place, that's for sure. Alright, can you grab that side? Yep. a little cool one in there. Look at that. We had this conversation. I didn't think there would be. That was wrong, all right? Oh, yeah. At this point, don't worry about that. Well, I think that's going to be hanging it up when we get up here on this line. Yeah. Right. Let's try it. Close. It's like a quarter inch from coming out. It's the fan that's holding it. Yeah. I think the fan's got to come out. Which sucks. The fan's not exactly easy to get to with this in place either. I wonder if we took this crossbar out here. If How easy does that come out? Holy shit. I didn't realize that's all what was going on under there. I didn't either. We have to get those ones working. Maybe tonight. One's bent. It's badass looking. Just cut the wires. Okay. Yeah, the pliers are just heavy. The, the oh, pliers? Pliers. <laughs> Jesus. He must have hit this thing pretty good if he bent the horn. Yeah, I see that. I think he probably pulled these out. Yeah. He did say that he and a friend pulled out the sheet metal, but it looks pretty damn good for being. I guess that's a good thing about um, you know, American steel cars back in the day. Jesus. I'm telling you, bolt cutters are right behind me. I agree with that statement. Born free. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at that. It is left over from the hand crank days. Oh yeah. You see it? No, I don't see what happened there. The, the, the nut on the front of the crank pulley? Oh, I can't see down there. Oh, there's a lot of ice. Oh shit. That's pretty cool. I doubt you have a socket that big. I doubt it. I should have gotten one more out of the car freight. Yeah, but I didn't know exactly what it was. Well, let's figure it out. Yeah. That's a dust bowl wrench. Might be able to get that on there. Don't have one. You don't have a big adjustable wrench? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. I really don't. I just, the one that I gave you for the gas tank was the biggest one I had. That's silliness. We've got uh, some Marvel mystery fluid sitting down inside spark plug holes. Gotta find a socket to fit that ginormous nut on the crankshaft so we can try to spin this motor by hand. Took the radiator out and there was actually still good coolant in the radiator, which is a good sign. So, here we go. What just happened? We did a thing. What did we do? The motor spins, we did a thing. Look at that. And we did a thing. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful sight. She ain't happy about it, but she spins. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So we're breaking the motor loose. We weren't sure if we were gonna be able to, but it's moving. It's alive. It is alive. It it's is moving pretty good. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's moving like oh, yeah. close. Oh, yeah. So that happens. That happens. It's windy in here. Without you, without a pipe. Huh? Without the pipe on it, it's moving good. So I vote now we try to crank it. Yeah, I agree. We need the battery and the... Ready? Ready. The motor is turning over. <laughs> this is awesome. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's alive. Ish. Kind of. Sort of. It's, it's an improvement. Yes. <laughs> so now that it's uh, spraying everything we put in this on the top now, shooting out the uh, exhaust here all over the floor. But it's moving everything. It spit a bunch up over top of the fenders and everything, but. It is cranking, it is spinning, it is no longer seized. Um, yeah. Pretty cool.
happening is the valves go like this in that head. So end of day two. Two. Yeah, day two, and the vehicle's still not running, sadly, but uh, making progress. That's it turns what, over. It does. It does turn over. That's a valid point. You got some nice calligraphy in your driveway. Yeah. Yep. We uh, the the truck drag, the redneck uh, engine brake didn't work. Uh, broke it slightly loose loose enough that we were able to uh break it the rest of the way by hand so that is the uh the head pulled on the motor here you can see there's a lot of valves that are not closing so that will be tomorrow's adventure clean all those up try to get them to close uh what's next after that I know it's first. What's that? Shower and a nap. Yeah, that's that is valid. But not a bad uh, progress for end of day, end of day two, two oh, days. Oh, the transmission shifts. Yes, the transmission shifts. It does. We uh, we have a shifting transmission. Oh, it's got Andy. <laughs> so Everybody. it does indeed shift. So. That's that's a big thing. It's a thing. It is. That's a Started big. Started the day not being able to do that. Yeah, that's. And the clutch works. Yeah, the clutch works. The clutch works. So that's suspension works. Suspension works as well. So that's good. Very bouncy. <laughs> uh, the shocks were frozen, but they broke loose when we were trying to uh, pull it back and forth with the truck and the jeep. But uh, in other good news, the paint looks like it's not going to be too bad to clean up. Did a little test piece here with just some uh, Scott Spray WD-40. That's uh, how it was before we dried it. And then after. And I hit it a little bit here with some uh, clay bar and it actually started smoothing out really nice. So I have faith that this is going to clean up okay. What do you think, Andy? Should. Yeah. That's your department. Yeah, that is my department. But. My department's make it run. Yeah. I don't know if I'm qualified, but we'll find out. I don't think anyone's qualified anymore. It's fine. Saw it on YouTube once, so that's fine. It's true. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's going to be the update for today. So, end of day two. Went pretty well. Um, I don't think there's a... <laughs> Dan, <don't laughs> exist. <laughs> I don't exist. <laughs> that's funny. So that's going to be it for end of day two. Um, I'm happy with the progress. I'm going to go shower. Yes. Bye. Peace. Stay tuned.